We're at 1565 Dalton. I'm gonna stand over here in camera. So it's kind of cloudy, so you're not gonna be able to see a lot of things. Um, I'm just camming right now, give you perspective. Um, we're thinking curb appeal. Okay, so I think that this tree here needs to be thinned out. There's a bunch of dead stemmy branches in it. Um, on the side of the yard, looking at the side of the house, in the backyard, that lilac bush is growing a little bit close to the house. You can see it through the fence line. It's actually touching the house, so that'll need to be cut back slightly. It looks like they have a, a rope on it to try to keep it under control. That's interesting. Um, doesn't look like the grass is about six inches tall to a foot tall in certain areas. The rest is fine. It's rose pruning season. The roses can be cut back significantly. There's greenery growing in the porch um, and the greenery around the roses need to be thinned out. There's greenery growing in the porch. Uh, moss growing as well. I noticed that there's distress on this house on the corner here. There's distress on the window pane wood. Um, that corner there looks like it's a little waterlogged. That there has been some overflow in the past. Um, I'm concerned that if we pressure wash, that paint's going to fly right off in certain areas because it's lifted. Let's see. The gutters need to be washed. We've got greenery growing in the deck here and moss, which a lot of the moss will come out. The greenery will need to be plucked out. The roses have a lot of dead wood and again, it can be cut back. Um, around the rose bushes, you should be able to see dirt. Um, this one has crabgrass growing in it. Okay, we're going over here. So there's a cosmetic thing going on right here. You can see that. And over here, you can see that the downspout has dirt in it, which means that the gutters, that's dirt, which means that the gutters, as you can see this here, repair, um, have sediment in them, which means that the gutters need to be cleaned. Looking along the house here. And again, distress on the trim. Looks like you got a mushroom going on that corner of the downspout there. I think that uh, the plastic sheeting that was screwed onto the frame of the door there was there so that nothing would scrape the corners of the door. It looks like they were handicapped or older. So they have a little rail going into the house. There's a wire a going from the wire, I think. corner and it's going all the way down and it's, it's broken right there. Okay, now I'm just going to cam the driveway. So we've got um, greenery, moss in the driveway, greenery there, um, either the step stones can be mowed or it can be burned, one or the other. And then there's a bag of red mulch here, so I guess that would go around the roses. Um, and then the carport structure is definitely dirty, but it's cleanable. You can see that right there. 
on the underside. Pat has her pressure washer, so she's going to town today. Um, so looking at the roof from right here, I see that there's a piece right about there that might be broken off. Careful. I know. I'm careful. Call me if you need me. Alright, so the entire patio is moldy. We're going to need to remove um, some items or, or make them decorative around your yard. You can see all the mold right there. Um, the paint looks distressed between here and there. And what I mean by that, actually it, means it looks like it's been weathered and primed maybe because there's two different tones um you can see right here that looks like like a square of white and looking over here there's a bunch of wires that have been cut off grounding things um looks like there's a branch hanging off that gutter Okay, so, continuing, that's grass, so going this way you can see that there needs to be some detail cleaning and some items removed, some items scraped up, um, looks like the fence was installed. Which is interesting because okay so you have a fence going this way and when you get down here instead of it being a straight line it goes out this way and it does this whoop I don't know if you can see that but that's a new repair there interesting huh and then as you can see down here it goes whoop All right, there's a downspout to this gutter right there, and then it doesn't have appropriate runoff. It's actually clamped at the bottom, or it actually broke. Somebody stepped on it. All right, this is a shed, and underneath the shed, I'm sorry about turning the camera. It looks like either there's pallets uh, and wood storage underneath. Um, the appliances in here, I believe, are being removed. Oh, since the cinder blocks are stacked here, we could stack the rest of them right here. That's great. Good to know. And, yeah, there's some mini blinds. No sign of rats or mice in here. This is a great room. There is some areas that are, it's open eaved, so you can see where I'm camming in the shed. So this uh, fiber board has a little distress on the outer eave. Okay, now I'm on this side of the yard. Here's the access gate right here. Um, and it has a lock on it. These could probably go. They were probably to the fence originally. And they're just there for whatever reason the ground here isn't flat looks like a tree might have been removed at some point um, and there's like a downspout right there Give you perspective where that's at 
Um, there's a runoff thing here, but it's going towards the house, which it should be going away from the house. And I suggest cutting this lilac back significantly because, I mean, look at all the dead wood on it. There's no reason for that at all. Let's see. Um, I guess he might have had a pet, and that's probably why this beam was put right here, which is the top of a fence. Okay. Um, along the house, maybe some weed whacking. And then again, that runoff needs to be situated a little bit better. It's like not situated very well. GCFI outside. Might need to use a blower on the heater vent. Clean that out. And access to that is locked. All right, so I'm turning this off now. <coughs> 11 minutes. It took me to... Uh